Hi everyone, it's Tracy, and this is my very first voiceover, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. But anyway, um, I'm going to be doing an 8x8 uh, scrapbook page, and this is a Disney layout. I'm using the Christmasville stack, and it is from Craftsmith, and I purchased that at Michael's. I purchased that right before Christmas actually and that's a really fun paper pad it had a lot of whimsical colors and um, some some of the pages have a glossy um, effect to them and um, the green one right there the little plus signs are actually glossed over and so it, it adds a nice interesting effect to some of the pages um, I forgot that I glued that down right there and I needed to slide that little piece that I had punched out and um, I need to slide that in and it worked pretty good I've just got a piece of patterned paper to go underneath my photo right there and my photo is just a standard um, 4 by 6 that um, I actually edited that on PicMonkey and that is actually a free website that you can go to and uh, edit your photos. Um, I'm just popping up those little edges right there with some foam adhesive and I got that idea from Mercy Tierra. Um, I believe everyone knows who Tracy is and uh, as you can see the little bit of dimension that I showed you there and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that little mat onto my page and um, that page the um, pattern paper also has some glossy effects to that as well. And you can see when I lay that photo down in the lower right hand corner, there is a little, um, it looks like a sticker, but it's actually just a little, um, it's like a little thing that I put on there on PicMonkey that's actually part of the photo. And um, right now I'm going to go ahead and edge some paper strips that I had cut out earlier with a gold Sharpie. And I found the easiest way to do that is just to um, get you a scrap piece of paper and run your pin along the edge of it and it um, works perfectly it gives you a perfect edge on it as you can see and I went ahead and I did all of the uh, strips of paper and they were all in different types of um, patterns that kind of coordinated and I kind of zoomed in here to show you exactly what I was doing it doesn't look like it's going to be straight but when you pull it up it's it's a perfect edge and um, I don't know how it would work with a regular, um, a harder tipped pen, but at least for the Sharpies it works great because there's a little um, give in the felt. So that works out really great. So I'm going to finish up with that. And now comes the fun part. Um, I need to set all those up and uh, figure out where I want to put those. I am actually using a sketch and I will put the sketch, um, the name of the sketch in the video. Um, I found it on Pinterest and this is actually a 2012, um, I believe it said from 2000 and June 2012 from a website. And um, right at this moment, I don't remember the name of the website, but again, I will put that in the video. So I'm laying up my little paper strips um, where I want them. And I am probably in my mind thinking I really am not going to enjoy gluing these down because they are so tiny. But um, the Zig 2-Way pen is a pretty good tool to use for this. I have had some problems and I don't know if it's because of the humidity here in Florida. But the Zig 2-Way pen doesn't always stick over time. I have had some albums that um, I have used in the past and went to open them up and some pieces are falling off and right now I'm actually doing a little test um, purposefully using the pen and made a note to which layouts I'm using them on and um, I'm going to go back over time and check to see if they're still sticking. I am 90% sure that the ones that were falling off of my pages were the Zig 2-Way pen. And that is a little devastating because it's such a great tool to use, especially when you're using really small die cuts. Um, but again, I, I, I don't know if it's the humidity in Florida or what. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these little strips here. 
and because I know that these are probably going to fall off um, I do wind up stapling them down. I'm going to trim them up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and staple them down and then trim up those ones that are hanging off the side. And the staples also give you a little bit of um, interest as well. So that works twofold. I really hope that this recording is turning out okay. And I apologize ahead of time if you hear any dogs going crazy. I do have dogs and they are known to bark at a leaf falling and I can't seem to control them on that. So I apologize in advance. So now I'm going to use this um, punch. It's just an EK Success punch and I'm going to punch out this uh, scallop and after I put this together um, you're going to see at the end that I did not use it and I just showed you the punch that I used for the little candy cane border on the right. I've got that little bin that's full of some little Disney pieces and parts that I pulled together to use in this album. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the pieces that I want to use on this particular layout. I've got some wood veneers that I'm pulling out. And um, I love those little words there. I can't remember. I think they were recollections um, from Michaels. But on most of these pages that I've put together for this Disney album, I have been using the black Mickey heads that I have right there you can see it and um, for the most part I've been trying to get one of those on every single layout there have been a couple of pages that it did not make it on there which that's okay but my intentions were to use this particular um, piece of um, homemade <laughs> um, ephemera should I say um, it, it was a little bit too big for where I wanted to put it. Um, the sketch had a round embellishment right below the photo. And because it was a lot bigger than the sketch, and the sketch I was using was also a 12 by 12, so I really had to pare it down. Um, it just didn't work out right. So I just kind of laid it off to the side. And I will save it for one of my other layouts that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down those wood veneers and I am using on that one um, I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. It's the Tombow Mono Multi Mono Liquid Glue and it is really a good glue and I love that it has two different tips on it, a broad and a, a small tip but I don't like that it is sticky. If it seeps out it gets sticky everywhere. I did pull out my little bag of tags and tabs and such. These are ones that I have cut um, ahead of time. I've just been collecting those over the years and I stick them all in this bag when I'm not using them. And I'm trying to find something to put above the photo because I'm going to put a small title up there. And so I did wind up finding one that I liked and I'm going to tuck all those back in there. I'm trying to use those. I wound up using that piece of burlap. I um, had a little tag and I'm going to put um, some little letters on it and hope that they stick to it because it's really hard to get something to stick to burlap and I did wind up having to use my glue again you will see in just a moment I did not get the letters exactly where I needed them to be and I had to shift them a couple of times and so I had to wind up gluing those letters back down and um, those tweezers that I'm using right there, those are the best things. I do need to get a pair of the ones that are, um, I guess they're like, to me, they're like a reverse tweezer. They're they're closed and then you have to squeeze them to open them. And there goes the, do the dogs. I apologize. <laughs> but um, I um, had to reposition those and it the glue again I had to use the Tombow Mono Multi and a little bit of the glue seeped out from behind it and it left the actual tab sticky in the area that is that's my hate part of this and my fingertips get sticky I don't know if you saw it was sticking to my fingertips as well but those tweezers have the finest point on them they are so incredibly small and I did find those at Michaels a couple of years ago I don't remember the brand of them, 
and um, I'm not even sure if they were in the scrapbooking section, but they are phenomenal and I absolutely love them. So there's the little tab. I'm going to put that on top of the photo and just tuck it right in there. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this layout because, um, again, I'm using an 8x8 size and when you're using a traditional 3x4 or a 4x6, well, 3x4 would be better, but a 4x6 photo on an 8x8 is really big. So I really have to keep what I'm doing to a minimum. I um, had some enamel dots and I had some of the Teresa Collins little enamel shapes as well and I wound up using the dots instead. They did, the colors seemed to work a little bit better with what I was using. So I just had a little um, set of three up on that and then I'm going to pull three more down on the bottom left corner. And that is my completed layout. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to give you a little close up right there. And I will see you guys hopefully really soon with another video. Take care. Bye.